where rebels in Syria have reached an agreement with Russia, the most trusted international ally of President Bashar al-Assad. They will now surrender all the southern border crossings with Jordan to the Russian forces. Now, it is yet another big gain for President Bashar al-Assad, who has now got the upper hand in the Syrian conflict. And Vyond's West Asia Bureau Chief, Daniel Lipragani, brings you more of the Jordan-Syrian border in this ground report. After weeks of bombing, anti-Assad rebels have reached an agreement with Russia. They will surrender all border crossing points between Jordan and Syria. People on the border told Vion they have not heard any pounding in the last few hours. We are currently in Torra, perhaps at the closest Jordanian village to the Syrian border. All those towns and villages that you see there, which means roughly a couple of kilometers behind me, are all inside Syria. And villagers living here in Torra told us that in the last few days they have, of course, heard the sound and the noise of the offensive. And many of them told us that also they could not sleep due to that sound. The Syrian army and its Russian ally had launched a massive offensive against the southern Syrian governorates of Dara and Kunetra. Dara is one of the two last anti-Assad rebel stronghold, the other being Idlib to the north, on the border with Turkey. Dara and Kunetra were protected by an international ceasefire since 2015, but after having reconquered Ghouta and the entire Damascus, President Bashar al-Assad declared he is determined to regain control of the whole country at any cost. The United Nations says as many as 270,000 civilians have fled Dara and the neighboring villages. They are trying to reach Jordan, but Amman says it will not open its borders for security purposes. I'm currently standing uh, in front of one of the access points between Jordan, uh, where I am right now, and Syria. So behind these gates that you can see here, there is uh, Syria, where currently the southern offensive is going on. The Syrian army, helped by the Russian uh, jet fighters, are attacking one of the strongest uh, rebel strongholds in Syria, the governorates of Dera, where the entire Syrian revolution started. As of now, as you can see, the border between Syria and Jordan is locked. Jordan, for security reasons, decided not to open. Instead, they decided to send trucks with humanitarian aid into Syrian territory in order to help the more than 250,000 civilians who are fleeing the southern Syrian government to protect their lives. Despite Amman's stand, good Samaritans from Jordan's border town of Al Ramtha are helping the civilians behind this border. Al Ramtha, as the majority of the border towns in Jordan, is a town of traitors. Many of them have trucks and used to drive regularly to and from Syria before the war broke out. We are currently in the Jordanian city of Ramtha. The city of Ramtha is located more or less on the border between Jordan and Syria. For instance, if you were to drive from here, from Ramtha, to the southernmost city of Syria, which is Dara'a, you would only take 10 minutes. And as you can see behind my shoulder, people from the city of Ramtha are self-managing humanitarian aid. They are filling trucks with water, with blankets, with mattresses, and they are ready to send everything in Syria. They are coordinating with Syrian counterparts whenever on the Syrian side where more than 270,000 civilians fled from the offensive. They call upon the people of Ramtha to help them and to send in humanitarian aid along with their trucks. They very quickly respond and send all the trucks. And this is all self-managed by the municipality of uh, Ramtha. Drivers and volunteers are waiting for clearance to reach Syria and deliver food, water and daily goods to those fleeing from the war zone. These drivers are ensuring that aid reaches those who need it the most and not the Syrian government or the rebels. This that you can see here is a line of trucks filled with humanitarian aid. There is water, mattresses, food, all the basic need which are waiting authorization to cross the border and enter into Syria to help all the people currently fleeing from the southern offensive. The Syrian regime and the Russian forces are attacking the southernmost governorate of Dera'a, which is where the Syrian revolution started eight years back. These trucks wait here. It's pretty hot and civilians are waiting in the sun right across the border in small tents and they're building small shelters with whatever they can. So this humanitarian aid is as if now the only lifeline that they have in order to survive. Daniele Pagani and video journalist Martin Aim from the border between Jordan and Syria for Vion.